Good afternoon. I've managed to make it up to a very snowy and quite slippery Dartmoor this afternoon. Um, I'm always quite surprised how well or how far I managed to get in the van considering it's only front wheel drive and the tyres on it aren't that great to be honest. Um, but I've actually managed to make it to Bowman's nose which is somewhere I have shot before um, but I've never shot it uh, when there's been any snow up here it's quite rare we do get snow on Dartmoor although I will admit it the last two years with the way things have been going it has been more common uh, but it's normally just a bit of a sprinkling every year so we've had some snow up here now for about two days I did try getting up here yesterday um, which is really annoying that I didn't manage to make it because there's a really, really, really nice sunset last night. The reason I didn't manage to get it is apart from the roads are quite bad, uh, a lot of them haven't been gritted, is that there was so many people up around Haytor yesterday and parked and they couldn't get in the car park so they were literally just parked um, on one side of the road. So it meant that there was kind of gridlock. Uh, the police were up there trying to sort it out and uh, I just didn't have time. By the time I would have got it, it would have been dark. Um, gone the same rate today. Luckily, it's not so manic. It's probably because of the weather. It's been a bit drizzly. Um, I'm honestly not sure what's gonna happen with the, the sunset tonight. We've got a bit of kind of sun or, if I can get it to expose properly. Coming over there, um, although it is quite, cloudy um, and over this way where I'm going to be shooting into it is actually semi clear with a kind of bit of cloud and a bit of haze so fingers crossed we might get another nice sunset if not it's quite cool getting out in the snow that gets some nice images I'll make my way up there set up I'll catch up for you when I've got the camera all set up and ready to go now here it is you've probably seen this before if you've seen it in my other vlogs um, it is actually about sunset now so I don't think we're gonna get those amazing colors saying that um, it's a cool scene nice to have all the snow up here um, I'm using a soft grad a 0.9 soft grad leaf filter to bring that sky down um, there's not a, too much definition in it so it's not looking really moody, but it's given it this kind of nice kind of glow in, in the front of it, um, in the middle of the scene, or the frame. Um, and it's just looking really nice, really. It's, it's given it quite nice pastel colours, um, a bit more bluey than I like. It'd be nicer if we had some sunset colours. But to be fair, it might happen. We've still got about 10 minutes of um, time where that could change. Um, so we just have to see how it goes. Now, like I said, I'm shooting with a 0.9 soft grad again just to bring that down. There's no point in having a polarizer here. Um, it would help slightly with glare off the snow and things like that, but there's just not enough sun in the right location uh, to really have any light that needs sorting out, any polarized light that you need to take out. Um, shooting with the 16 to 35 because I'm quite close to it. I'm probably about 10 meters from the um, uh, from the actual tour itself or Bowlerman and um, yeah that's about it really just doing a quite simple image it's a single frame there's not enough dynamic range uh, to need to, to go into HDRs and I'm shooting at the moment uh, f8 don't need to go too more than that um, it's quite a nice separation between me and the landscape um, the bowlerman is about 10 meters and at that distance F8 is going to give you a relatively sharp kind of background, especially on this lens, um, being quite a wide angle lens. 
and again just shooting at an ISO of 50 and that's giving me 3.2 seconds at the moment just to just to put a bit of softness in those clouds and just add a, a bit of extra to it over just a snapshot with a phone um, yeah so that's probably about all I can say about it really um, photographically wise anyway it's a really cool place like I say we don't normally get a massive amount of snow up here um, now I've told the story of Bowling before on one of my other vlogs, but it was probably about 18 months ago now. Um, so for the user, the you that haven't seen that, um, basically this tour here is called Bowlerman's Nose. Um, it's obviously on the Dartmoor National Park here, not far from Manhattan. I assume that thing at the top is meant to be its nose, but to me, it just looks like a baseball cap. Uh, granted, they probably didn't have baseball caps when they discovered this. Um, but basically the legend goes that um, quite some time ago, I don't know when, uh, but we're probably talking a few thousand years, uh, there used to be a village at Houndtor, which you can just see the rocks of, which you probably can't make now, uh, let's try and do this, those, those there that look a bit like trees, are actually rocks, or bits of a tor, boulders on a tor. There used to be an actual village there. It's actually still got some of the um, earthworks. It was a kind of druid kind of settlement type thing on Dartmoor. And there's a hunter there called Bowlerman, and he was said to have been chasing a hare with his three hounds. And they knocked over a witch's cauldron. And the witches got angry. Um, so they decided to chase down Bowlerman and turn him to stone. And this apparently is Bowlerman now in a stone shape. Um, I've been up here at night doing Astro stuff before and nothing's attacked me, so hopefully it's just a legend. Um, and apparently his three dogs um, are turned to stones at Houndtor now. And you can see some of the rocks there, they do look a bit like dogs. Um, and that's, that's the tale behind Bowlerman, apparently. Um, so here he is, he's quite tall, he's probably getting on something like three, four times my height. I'm guessing he's about eight meters or something like that, or kind of six meters or something like that, seven meters. Um, he's quite tall. If I stand next to him now, my head would probably come up kind of just where this crack is here. Um, that's about it for the scene, really. Really cool place. Um, now when you're shooting, one thing I should mention, when you're shooting snow scenes like this, uh, you want to be overexposing it. Now that seems counterintuitive because it's going to make the image look quite bright on the back. Um, but what you've got to remember is it's not actually overexposing it. That uh, snow is looking bright because it is bright and it reflects a lot of light. If you underexpose snow too much, it doesn't look white, it looks grey. So if you overexpose your shot, um, now I'm overexposing it by two thirds of a stop. Um, really it should be a stop, but I want to try and keep some of that, that detail and that definition in the sky and make it as moody as I can. So I know I can get away with that. Obviously check with your histogram, but that probably will be a bit out. It'll probably be showing it quite brighter than you think. So my histogram on the back looks perfect, as you can see. Most of the highs are quite a way down the scene. I'm not clipping anything there. Same with the shadows, um, which means when I do that work that in post with um, uh, some editing, I'll be able to bring those those colours down and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to hang around for a bit. Hang around for ten more minutes. Um, I won't go on anymore. If we get any nice um, sunset colours, I'll crack some images off. I'll stick them up at the end of the video and um, hope you've enjoyed watching it. It's like I say before, it's a shame we didn't get up here yesterday, um, but that's life. Yesterday we had a really, really nice sunset, um, which you probably would have seen in some of the footage I put up from yesterday, um, although I didn't get any good images. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you have, give me a thumbs up and I'll catch up with you on the next outing, which hopefully will be next weekend for me. Me. Take the time to dig deep Underneath this red heat We could really meet Layers It's time to lose these naysayers We're better off the air will be richer and everything
so much easier